Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because today I am actually filming with my new camera, so I hope you guys enjoying it. It sounds way better. For the little story, I used to use another camera. The lens got some dirt on it. Every time you were watching my videos, you could see some purple dots a little bit everywhere and that wasn't working for me. I just wanted to say thank you for all the people who decided to subscribe to my channel recently. Welcome! I love your support and I really love making those videos. So thank you so much for supporting me. Anyways, this is not what I want to talk about today. Today, I want to talk about social media content calendar. And we love it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Justine Lamer. I am a social media consultant and a content creator. Here on YouTube, I love talking about social media and content creation, so keep watching. Quick story behind this video. If I wanted to show you how to create a content calendar for your social media platforms, it's because I have myself a social media content calendar for my YouTube channel, for my blog, for Instagram, and for IGTV. I also use my social media content calendar to give myself some goals during the months. The story behind my social media content calendar. I used to do it on Google Sheets that I really like. Don't get me wrong, I ran out of storage on my Google Drive and decided to delete everything I had on it. But I forgot that my Google Sheets was in it as well. So when I deleted everything, I lost it. And I lost a month and months of contents that I planned. You can imagine how happy I was about it. So I decided to make a new content calendar for my social media platforms on Microsoft Excel. This is something I have on my computer that I will never lose. So this is the best way for me to keep my social media content calendar safe. If you do not have Microsoft Excel, this is okay. You can actually do the exact same thing I'm going to show you on Google Sheets because I basically did the same. I just switched platforms because I'm too scared to lose my content calendar again. So why I think you should create a content calendar for your social media platforms? Well, this is easy. You need to know what you're going to post on your Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. I'm going to show you mine. That way, I'm going to show you how you can do yours. First, we need to drink a little bit of water. And with my super cute mug, I got this at Disney Animal Kingdom. Let's get our content calendar ready. I'm going to show you a quick look on how my content calendar for my social media looks like. After that, I'm going to show you how you can make yours the same way. Obviously, you can change it. You do whatever you want with whatever platform you use. Uh, we probably don't use the same, or we do. Good. Anyways, I'm going to show you mine and after we'll get to yours. You guys, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I was about to show you with my camera, my screen, when I can show you my screen on my computer with a share screen. I'm way too excited about this new camera that I want to I wanna do everything with the new camera, you know? Like, okay. Okay, so this is how I did it. Here's my YouTube content calendar 2020, the blog content calendar, <laughs> the IGTV content calendar. I can say content calendar too fast, I think that's funny. Uh, IGTV content calendar and my monthly goals. For YouTube, blog and IGTV, it's pretty much the same thing. So I used months, date, the number of video I made. This is for me the follow up, my YouTube title, if I filmed it, if it's complete, the edit, some notes that I want to take during the video and some video ideas. The titles that you are seeing here is not the complete title. This is just Heidi's that I took from on uh, this side. This is pretty much the same with the blog. I do color code for me to remember some things, some notes, and same, I have some blog IDs here. And I do the same with my IGTV. I try to do one IGTV a week. That way I know when they're going to go out, what is it about, if I already filmed it, and if it's complete, the edit. Now we can go to do yours. Okay, so you just saw how I make my content calendar for my social media and all the platforms I'm using during the year. I'm going to tell you why I'm not using this content calendar for my Instagram posts 
it's because I am using another app where I create my post and put it directly on this app and the app is doing it for me. If you wanna know what app I'm using, I made a blog post about the three social media scheduler tools that I'm using for my Instagram. So you can check this out on justinlemire.com. So now, it's the time to make a content calendar for your social media. Okay guys, here we are. We're on Excel right now. This is a blank page. So I'm going to show you how to create your social media content calendar. So here on sheets number one, you can rename that for Instagram. Each sheet is for one social media. You could put everything on one sheet, but I think it's more breathable to do one sheet per social media. Let's do it. Mounts. So we're going to do mounts. Center, put in bold, and you shoot whatever color you want. Yes! Okay, this is the mounts. So you need to figure out how many posts per month you want to post. So let's say that you're doing three posts a week for four weeks. That means that you need 12 posts and you need to know what day you're going to post at what time. So here you can do the months and you know that you will need 12 and viable spot for your posts. You're going to merge this and here you're going to write May centered you want maybe uh, a different font anyways let's say that in may you have 12 posts to make so we left 12 empty space here and so now here you're going to put dates that way you know what date doing what and on dates same you're going to uh, look a cute color you don't have to do that i think just it makes the cotton calendar look a little bit better. You are posting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, right? You're going to take your calendar. So as I was saying, you're going to do every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday. So you need to put those dates. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> Write down all your dates. On my content calendar, you saw that one of my title is number. I like to keep track of how many posts I made. This is a reminder for me, especially for YouTube and um, for my IGTV. So you can skip the numbers of posts you're making. It's up to you. I will go with title just to remember what your post is going to be about. I'll choose a quick color again. Let's say on May 4th, just think about that right now, but it's May the 4th to be with you. Hours. Anyways, on my Instagram content calendar on May 4th, I'm going to be posting about style. So what you can do here, picture and caption, or if you don't want to put the caption here, you can do hashtag. Well, I do hashtag here. Same, we're going to bold, and you guys are going to choose what I want as a color to make it cute. The month of May, each day, the title of your post, the picture you're going to take, if you took it or not, the caption you're going to write, and the hashtag you're going to use. So if you do this, every single one of your posts is going to be super easy to go on Instagram and just copy past. Ahead of time, you know what you are going to post. And this is life changing. This is like time saver, no jokes. So for example, for my Star Wars post on May the 4th, let's say... for your entire month. The thing that I like to do here, separate. What I do is select my entire line and do it like, there you go. So you can just copy this and you're right. Now, what you can do is select everything you just did, Command C on Mac, and past everything 
for your Facebook content page calendar and same for your YouTube. But for YouTube, I put the date, the title, the numbers of video, and I also do filming and I will do, if I film this video, for example, I put an X, but I need to edit it. So I need to write like complete or edit or whatever. The same for your Facebook page and for your Instagram content. Okay guys, you learn how to make a social media content calendar on Microsoft Excel. Congratulations. <laughs> now you can fill it up with everything that you are planning this month. I know that sometimes it can be like a little bit hard to plan ahead of times the content that you want to put on your platforms, especially because you never know what is going to go in between those posts, like something came up and you wanna talk about this subject right now instead of the content that you planned before. I really hope you guys love today's video. Let me know in the comment section what you use as a content calendar for your social media platforms and let me know if this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to never miss any edit with me video. Even so, it wasn't an edit with me video, it was a create with me video. So in any case, subscribe. Thank you very much. I really hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Testing, testing, testing. I'm testing. Woo, that's bright in here. If you are new, okay.